You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Uh, okay, Raya. Uh, I have a friend that was diagnosed with brain cancer. She recently had brain surgery. Uh, they only took out half the tumor. Oh, isn't this funny? Here we are. Okay. <laughs> yes. uh, so she recently had brain surgery. They only took out half the tumor. They did a biopsy on the tumor and determined it was benign. Is there anything uh, that my friend needs to do to make sure it's not cancer? And could that turn into cancer? Mm -hmm. Well, that is interesting. Um, so the big problem with any cancer is they metastasize and grow. Um, and the, the thing about GBMs and, and most brain tumors is they don't spread throughout the body. They stay within the brain. So in regards to a benign tumor, um, it's still very dangerous if it occurs in the brain. Hmm, because? It's because it's going to grow and spread throughout the brain tissue. Oh, I see. So it's just, it's literally the same as a, a GBM or something. It's not mm. as aggressive and it's not considered as damaging, mm. um, but it's going to have the same sort of consequences because even, even cancerous tumors in the brain don't spread throughout mm. the brain. Right. And this, I, uh, this was in Canada. Okay. Uh, and they did, uh, they did, a, uh, actually, I'm not sure what, what procedure they did to, uh, but I, I know it wasn't anything as fine as an eco. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the traditional open up the right. cranium. Craniotomy. Yes, thank you, mm -hmm. craniotomy. Uh, so for does that does that neco, which is a super fine surgical tool, mm -hmm. um, does that work for benign? I guess. Yes, yeah. totally, totally. Right. Yes, any sort of tumor is going to be great for. Mm -hmm. So if you have brain cancer or know someone who has, or perhaps a benign tumor, and they've been told that it's inoperable or or that only certain bits can get done uh, almost certainly there are some surgical tools out there uh, that are far less invasive than standard mm -hmm. brain surgery mm -hmm. and yes, uh, exactly. they can get far more if not all of that tumor mm -hmm. tissue yes yeah yes. yeah the one thing that's really cool about that Nico tool I mean there's lots that's really interesting about it uh, but just how quickly people are up walking around yeah. and you don't have to open your head they're, you hours, they're yes. not opening your head in order to it's have amazing. this this amazing surgery yes. so your recovery time is so much faster the chances of any um infections is so much less yes. yeah so i do have something else to say about this this Please case do. um so um you know typically we only deal with uh with actual cancers we don't typically deal with benign tumors however we have had a few calls over the years, uh, people with very aggressive benign tumors. And uh, in a few cases, we've actually sequenced those tumors. And we found, wait a minute, this person has an inherited genetic mutation that increases their risk for cancers that is in their family. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to follow that down and do genetic testing and really you know, prevent some potentially really difficult situations in that family. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, there's all kinds of targeted therapies um, and they seem to work well regardless of whether it's a cancer or not a cancer. Mm -hmm. So, so benign tumors mm -hmm. can also have mutations. They don't have the, tu the mutations that cause them to be a full blown cancer, but um, you know, yes, they can be They're very being effective. Driven by similar and, and ironically, um, I just saw a study yesterday. I didn't get a chance to read it, but um, a new study out on desmoid tumors, which is a type of benign tumor. And they found this combination of target therapies works incredibly well on mm. these tumors. Mm. So targeted therapies for the uninitiated are, are treatments that have been designed specifically to target one specific mutation. Yes. And they're typically used for cancer. But you're yes. saying if somebody has that inherited mutation for which that treatment has been designed, they can use that for a benign tumor. Yes. And reduce the yes. growth. Yeah, even if it's not inherited. Yeah. That's exciting. Very exciting, because yeah, you don't want anything growing in your brain, that is for sure. No. No. Except your brain. Yeah. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.